Hello, welcome back to Grand Canyon University Thunder Visions College Knowledge. We are on tip number eight of our 10 part series, 10 ways to be successful in high school. Tip number eight is earn leadership roles. I'm gonna talk about what makes up a leader, why leadership roles are important, and how to get them. Let's start with what makes up a leader. A leadership role is a position you take which allows you to delegate or hand out tasks and serve others. Many other people think that a leadership role is where you have power and authority and you tell other people what to do. However, there's a big difference between a servant leader and a dictating leader. Dictating leaders try to make their role about themselves. They use power and control. A servant leader uses their role to help other people and to guide them. They share their power with those below them, and they do the dirty work with their followers. The National Honor Society says that the qualities that make up a good leader include sourcefulness, problem-solving skills, promoting school activities, contributing to ideas, dependability, positive influencing, and I would like to add that they're willing to work hard and get their hands dirty while working. Now that we have an idea of what a leadership role is, let's talk about why it's important. One, college applications. Colleges tend to pick people who have a leadership role because it shows that they have those qualities that we talked about earlier that makes up a leader. Two, building skills. If you get a leadership role in high school, this will be building skills that you're gonna be using on later in life. It will even help you build up your resume in case you wanna get a job in college or even getting a job after college. Three, confidence. When you successfully lead a group of people, it will build up your confidence because you will see how capable you are of using your voice and emitting change. All right, our last section, how do you get a leadership role? One, run for student government or try to be the head of a club. Two, join an event planning team, such as planning dances, planning fundraisers, or other school events. Three, Create a new project or initiative at your school, whether it's to support the community or to support your school itself. Four, get involved in the local community, begin a political campaign, or spearhead a volunteer project. Five, if you have a job, try to work your way up at work. Six, try out to be the captain of your sports team. Seven, start a new club about something that you love. Is it poetry? Is it art? Number eight, be a mentor for younger students. Talk to your principal if your school doesn't already have a mentorship program. You could start one. Nine, start a business. Whether you create things or have a skill to show off, tutoring, lawn mowing, babysitting, selling art. 10, join an academic team and participate in competitions. 11, join a publication team at your school, whether that's journaling or it's the yearbook team. You will reap so many benefits from being a person that uses their skills and their personality to build up those around you. Think about your passions and harness those to be a leader in your high school. Thank you for joining me on tip number eight, earn leadership roles on 10 ways to be successful in high school. Lopes out.